my name is Michael Bayer. I'm a chemist here in Nanonor. And uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to transform basically the normal Twisky benchtop into a pumping system. Uh, that's already done. And I will sh now show you basically how to analyze the salt content in uh, crisps. And uh, in order to do so, what we need is we need water, we need a grinder, not, basically not a grinder, but a mixer to blend the sample. Uh, we're going to use some crisps, make some sort of pulp out of it, transfer the pulp into a container and let the system aspirate the sample, analyze it and spit it out again. So uh, step number one is uh, I have a, a mixer here. I can remove the top, put it on a balance, set it to zero. And what we are aiming at is basically a dilution factor of uh, 1 to 10. So I will use 50 grams of these crisps here, approximately, and uh, 450 grams of water. This gives 500 in total, so it's a factor of 10 then. Uh, so let's see if I can put this in here. Here we have 50 grams now, and I will add 450 milliliters of water, or grams in this case. So it's 449, which I can top off a little bit of the pipe here. So, 450. Take this now, mount it again. Just put this down now and uh, homogenize it until it's nicely homogenized. So, this is what you end up with after homogenizing. Uh, I have transferred the sample into the small beaker here and I will mount, uh, put it now here in front of the machine, putting the tube inside and uh, I prepared earlier a, a method or a job that's called salt sodium so we're going to analyze the salt content based on the sodium content in these samples and it has two outputs it will give us the percentage of sodium in not this sample but in the original crisps because you remember I, I made this uh, dilution here it's 1 to 10 so it's 10 times diluted uh, the system inside the job as an option to include the dilution factor and that's what I did. So the system knows that this sample is 10 times diluted so it will analyze, come up with the sodium content and will automatically times 10. So the final result is basically the salt content in your crisps and in addition to sodium, uh, so salt based on sodium, it will also spit out the sodium percentage. So I will press run here now and ask for a tag and I should grab crisps or crisp. Press continue. And the system itself uh, uses one minute. So you can see the pump starts pumping now. It's aspirating the sample, filling up the magnet. And you can see it should arrive at the bottom here, uh, at the top there, and uh, goes to waste. And this is actually when the system starts analyzing now. So after one minute, we can have a back look again, and it should be finished. Hello again. So uh, one minute is gone, and uh, we the results are ready actually for the sodium analysis of crisps. Uh, and you can see here, uh, we have two numbers here because I the job is programmed so that it spits out the sodium content in percentage. So, so this sample or basically the original crisp sample that is in this ball here, has a sodium content of 0.42% uh, sodium. And if you calculate that towards what, what the salt content is, uh, the system internally uh, multiplies with 2.54, which is the factor between both. So uh, if you want to transfer or yeah, calculate salt from sodium, you have to times with, with two, or multiply with 2.54. So you end up at 1.08% of salt content in these crisps here. 